Greetings, it is I, Susie Q, working with an Akashic Record, and I will be reading it to you because I haven't been looking at it for a long time, but we're going to see what it's going to say. <laughs> Watching the tail feathers as the crows fly suggests the powerful energies that do move about this planetary jaunt. So much frequency, shifting, sliding, gliding, flying all around. What's a girl like me to do? <laughs> I say we embody the swiftness of goodness in our present moment of aliveness, just as the body spontaneously does what it does for you. <laughs> Reestablishing your coordinates Oftentimes, awakens to keener insights from a fresh perspective, a fresh new vibe. Look around. What do you see? <laughs> How you doing with your air that you're breathing? The birds in the sky, all winged and free, rekindle a memory of this life beyond now. Should your overall reinvigoration or reactivation call you to look up at the skies, do notice the winged ones, you and I. Looking down does represent an awareness of remembering to always look to the higher states of this your life. Bird perched, looking right at you, reframe your designs of yesterday's remembrances. Birds singing represents the glory of this, your present moment of now experience. Take the crow's feathers as a messenger of change, change, change. Then let the rest of life's days gone by. Let them go, let them go, let them go. Today marks a relationship with self. And all the while, we recognize the feathers too many to count. Shackled no more. You're free. You're free. You're free. You are free. Oh, yeah, you are free. <laughs> I was kind of cheeky. <laughs> it's been kind of fun, me looking at some of my Akashic records. And I, you know, I never date it, but it's just these um, still small voice that's kind of coming through and I'm engaging with the words. When I first started doing it, it was back in 2008 and it started on the very first day of 2008. And then I started hearing on the right side um, a proper English woman's voice and I kept just typing. And so that was maybe 15 years ago, right? 15 years ago since I've been doing automatic writing. And then I was accessing my Akashic Records. At that time, I was just dutifully like a typist. I didn't really understand what was going on. I just could, I could get, I could hear the words. I could hear the experiences. I could hear the imagery that was coming through, but I never really thought like, what was it, you know? So over the years, I found some ways to um, access automatic writing, moving into these beautiful soul messages, you know, my body messages, my galactic energies, God or source or uh, the cat down the street, right? So all of these uh, beautiful flows of energy that we're working with, like we were working with the crow, you know, and kind of cheeky and kind of fun. So that was kind of an uplifting. This piece seemed really uplifting to me once I was reading it. <laughs> I don't usually like look at them, but then every once in a while they show up and then what else do I need to know? What else do I need to do? So when you're looking at that crow energy, what are you what are you feeling about that? What is it? What is what is it about that crow? What else are you experiencing with a crow? What else or whatever kind of symbology do you have about a crow? All of this is giving us guidance. I'm really seriously like loving it because whenever I'm getting these words, words, so many words, I've got so many words, right? Is that I start kind of like leaning in a little bit more and engaging in a deeper way of understanding like what is the purpose? Why are we here? Why are we here? We're boots on the ground, right? You know, we're here to be an experience. And I think, you know, basically when we, we come here as spirit, we go into the womb and then pop, we come out and be a baby. <laughs> and then we start noticing that really our purpose here is just to experience this, 
experience this. This is kind of the my summation. Uh, we came here and then we're just here. We're just here. We're in a space of exploration or deeper senses of breathing, you know, like even the body. It's so amazing. So all of this is free. Everything I'm doing is free range chicken, people. I put out the material and you can read it. You can experience it. You can give it to others. It is a free range chicken over here. <laughs> so we'll see you soon. And a namaste. <laughs>